Hi beautiful souls, it's Karen here at Soul Magic Inspirations and I'm here with a Twin Flame Soulmate reading for those of you in separation, no contact. So we're going to be looking at the Divine Masculine's Energy check-in right now. It's been a while since I've done one of these, so I appreciate sure the oracles <clears throat> and we're going to clarify with the tarot. So thank you for being here, thank you for your love, your support. Thank you to everyone that supports my lives. Thank you to anyone supporting my videos. Um, I have deck shop um, where you can purchase a lot of the decks I use in my readings. I also have an Etsy shop. I also have a membership now on this channel. Um, if you click the join button, you'll get more details for exclusive readings. And there's going to be exclusive healings in there as well. Look out for the first one coming up very soon um so all my links are down below my books on amazon my poetry books and my children's book so you can check those out as well it's a great way to support me and hopefully you'll get benefit from it as well so let's have a look at the energies of the divine masculine so i decided to use the wisdom oracle today so we've got breathe here and here's number 11. I hadn't noticed that. 2 plus 9, 11. Well, I hadn't noticed. So I feel they could be taking time out right now. Maybe they've started a daily meditation practice or some sort of spiritual practice. Um, maybe they're taking a breather in their life in general. Um, maybe they're allowing themselves more time out, you know, from work, from a busy schedule um, to really do that inner work on themselves. And we've got never ending story. So we've got number three plus seven, which is a 10, which is a one. So I feel, and you can see the heart under there in, in like a, um, oh God, what are they called? Gone blank. Those timers, aren't they? Like an egg timer thing. Um, but yeah, it could have been like that in your connection. You know, it could have been um, a never ending story. You know, you were connected, then you were disconnected. And I feel that they want to put an end to that with the one energy. They want to have a new beginning here. Um, they want to end this separation period. But we'll clarify with the tarot. Yeah, the regeneration again, another 10. Wow. So another 11. We've got 11, 11 here. Wow. How powerful is that? I didn't even notice that. Um, yeah, they want a regeneration with you. They want to. Yeah, they definitely want to have a fresh start here. And we've got serendipity. So they're trusting in that. They're trusting in um, serendipity. They're trusting in the divine more. Um, maybe they're getting signs and symbols. Um, they're trusting in divine timing. And they're looking out for it. And maybe they weren't looking out for that before. And yeah, we've got observers. So when I saw this, I immediately think that they're, they're keeping an eye on you in some way. Um, they could be watching you on social media. Um you know, maybe you've got mutual friends that they're asking about you, you know, however that resonates for you. But there's there's some way that they're sort of keeping an eye on you. I mean, that person's got a telescope. Um, you know, it, you know, I don't I don't feel it's a bad energy. I feel they're checking up to see if you've moved on, I think is what the energy is. And they want to co-create here. We've got the number four and we've got the owl and the cheetah. So that reminds me of like. The owl is like the wisdom and the cheetah is like the runner energy. But the cheetah is, is sitting still like a cat, um, poised, you know, not moving. And we've got an egg, which to me is about a new beginning, co-creation. They want to create that new beginning. It's so powerful. Um, the energy about new beginnings coming through. Yeah, they want to clean it up. So whatever happened between you, they want to talk things through. They want to clean it up. They want to clear the air. Basically, yeah, they definitely want to come forward and clear the air here. And we've got the number three, two plus one, three, which is about collaboration, about teamwork, about working together. And yeah, the TikTok, they, and the three again, so we've got um, a master number three, three. So yeah, time time is ticking and they realise that they need to get a move on here because, you know, they feel, you know, you could move on. Um, and it comes up right under the serendipity. So I do feel they're looking for a sign. And yeah, we've got poise. So this always reminds me of the, the full energy in the tarot. And we've got a 12 energy. We've got another three. So we've got three, three, three. So that's a very powerful angel number. So check that out. 
but yeah they're po poised to take a leap of faith is what I'm feeling there so they're definitely ready to take a leap of faith and move forward and, and take a chance here so yeah it's, it's feeling very strong here so let's clarify with the tarot so what is this breather or breathe about what's this breathe about here for the highest light and love Yeah, we've got page of wands so they they could be communicating with you there could be a communication coming in um where they're going to test the water with you i feel yeah we've got ace of swords so they want to be honest they want to be truthful and they want that new beginning you know to start afresh with a with an honest new beginning and they want to regenerate things here they want to you know they want to have that fresh start so what is that talking about Yeah, we've got the tower. So it could be like a tower moment. And the tower doesn't have to be bad. It's always um, sudden. So they could act impulsively, some of them. You know, they could move forward impulsively and literally had enough of the silence or the not knowing. And there could be a sudden shift here. And I feel maybe that's why they're going to test the waters with a um, a message. You know, do you, do you answer the message? If you communicate... They might decide to just take that risk here. Yeah, we've got King of Wands. So, you know, they could be stepping into that King of Wands energy. They could be a fire sign, Aries or Sagittarius. But, you know, the King of Wands is somebody who's mature, who's passionate, who's driven, and they go after what they want. So, yeah, I feel there's an energy of, you know, not wanting to wait. And, yeah, they're watching you. There's, there's a watching energy. Yeah, we've got King of Cups energy here as well. So they're very much in touch with their feelings. For some of you, it could be a water sign, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But this person is really in their feelings and they have love to offer. And they want to co-create with you. Yeah, they want to co-create with you. So what is this co-creation about? Yeah, they want that new beginning with the full energy. They want to take that leap of faith with you and build something together. And they want to clear the air with that clean it up energy. They want to clear the air. They want to have that open, honest talk here. And it could happen unexpectedly out of the blue for some of you. Yeah, and judgment is about that. You know, judgment can talk about that. Um, something you thought was dead and over um can be reborn they want to they want to rebirth here in this connection they want to rebirth and they realize time is of the essence they're feeling that energy yeah the nine of wands so you know there's been a lot of waiting there's a lot been a lot of obstacles there's been a lot of challenges but they never gave up on this connection despite the way it looked and they're poised to take a chance here um you know like that full energy what can you tell us about that Can you tell us about that? Oh my god, that fell on the floor. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, we've got the high priestess. So they're starting to trust in their own intuition. And they also, you know... There is no speaking between you. They they can't stand it. They they don't want that anymore. Um, they want to put an end to this lack of communication, and they also see you in that energy. Somebody very highly psychic, very intuitive. They have a lot of respect for you. about that yeah we've got the ace of pentacles so they definitely want that brand new beginning they definitely want to take a chance here on this connection what else can you tell us so females 
yeah they could see you as the queen of pentacles some of you could be earth signs but they see you as somebody very nurturing very loving very grounded as i say they have you in high esteem they definitely see you in high esteem yeah we've got the four of wands so they want to commit to this they want to build a firm foundation with you um and build together with you they want they want to commit to this Yeah, they want to come forward in that Knight of Cups energy, like, and the Knights is that fast-moving energy. They want to come forward in a light-hearted, romantic, passionate energy. So let's look at some other um, energies are in. Yeah, courage. They're getting the inner, they're getting connected to the inner strength and courage within them, um, and overcoming any fears holding them back. And we've got guilt reverse. So I feel they could have held a lot of guilt around this situation with you over their behaviours and they're releasing that, they're forgiving themselves and they want happiness with you, they want to, you know, have a happy time with you but they also realise that they're responsible for their own happiness as are you and taking that on board, you know, taking responsibility and purpose, they know what they're here to do, they know what they need to do next, so they're, they're getting clear on that and they're trusting in their own intuition, you know, they're really connecting to that much more and they're releasing any judgment um, that they had on themselves or other people. You know, they're being more in that forgiving energy. And they want a relationship. You know, they want a commitment with you. They want to move this forward and, you know, see see where it goes. So they're really connecting in more to the divine, opening up more to higher knowing, higher knowledge. You know, we started off with that brief, like I said, meditation. They could be meditating, praying. You know, they're really connecting more into the divine consciousness, opening up more to guidance. And their heart is wide open. They're very much in touch with their feelings for you. And they want to express it. You know, they're getting very um, anxious in a way to express it, to come forward. And they're bringing up, building up that confidence and courage. And they've been focusing on their finances, their, you know, the grounded energy, the root chakra energy. They wanted to come forward in a good energy. They wanted to come forward with something to offer you. They didn't want to come forward empty-handed. And I know with the Divine Feminines, it doesn't matter about that. But for their own self-worth and self-esteem, they needed to do that. And yeah, the third eye, they, they could be going through an awakening. They have a deep understanding of this connection and of themselves and have, have more of an awareness of what's happening. And they feel this connection with you. They really do feel this connection. Even if they denied it at one time, they're really aware of it now. And uh, they're feeling the passion and they want to bring this passion, desire and fun and joy towards you and, and, and with you. And enjoy that together, really enjoy that together. So it's really positive, light-hearted energy. So what do they want to say? Hidden thoughts and feelings deck. Sometimes I stop myself reaching out to you, I don't know why. So we can see that they're building up the courage and confidence to do that. My emotions are right, or, bleh, my mouth, my emotions are all over the place right now. So yeah, they're really starting to ground themselves and to get more centred and more confident, as I say, and really, you know, be, have that self-awareness. And I'm sorry I've not opened up to you and told you how I really feel. So they really want to now, they're ready. And when we met, I was not being authentic with you, I'm sorry. So again, there was a holding back energy through fear, I feel through lack of self-worth. And I want to be intimate with you, make love to you. So they really want to express themselves with you. And you're my fantasy baby. And baby be mine. So they, they want to come and claim you. Not that anybody belongs to anybody else. But you know what I mean. Energetically, they want to come forward and say, look, I love you. Will you be mine? And put their cards on the table. So, yeah, it's very clear there. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.